The deal reached between Airbus and China's three big state airlines is worth over 240 billion yuan, about 37 billion US dollars. It's a significant amount, especially after China's civil aviation authorities said the country's domestic airlines lost over 67 billion yuan, about 10 billion US dollars during the pandemic. And the three airlines in question accounted for about 60% of that, which begs the question, why this massive deal now? I believe the move shows the airline's confidence in the recovery of the aviation industry after the pandemic. Meanwhile, with such a group buying, I think the price offered by Airbus could be much lower than the open market prices. Currently, we believe the global aviation industry is on the path of recovery, so the airlines should make preparations for the resumption of full capacity. Documents released by the airlines reveal that 292 planes were ordered in total, and all of them are Airbus A320neos, which stands for the new engine option. Of these, China Eastern will take 100, and Air China and China Southern Airlines 96 each. They are expected to be delivered between 2024 and 2027. And A320s are what's called narrow-body aircraft, which are very popular in China. In fact, about four in five passenger craft in China are this kind. So what's different about the NEO? The narrow-body aircraft has a capacity of about 120 to 220 seats. It's suitable for domestic routes with a short distance. Wide-body aircraft are mostly used for long-distance flights, such as international itineraries. According to Airbus, compared with previous generations of models, the A320 new aircraft will show a significant improvement in fuel efficiency and environmentally friendly features. The A320's major competitor are the 737 made by the US player maker Boeing and the C919 developed by Chinese manufacturer Comac. And both are the narrow body kind. Actually, after information on China's order were released, Boeing said it was, quote, disappointed. And the company is similarly citing geopolitical differences as a reason that Chinese airlines approach the European manufacturer. It is, of course, a big blow for Boeing, as Airbus and Boeing are two arch rivals in the global market. And China Southern Airlines says it won't purchase any Boeing 737 MAX by 2024. As for the C919, its first commercial deliveries are expected to be made this year to China Eastern Airlines.